Ready? Yeah. Imagine if you were the boss. That's insane. Of all your family's money. Oh, I'm loving this. You could buy whatever you wanted. I think I like that one, but then I also saw this one. Whenever you wanted. That is gorgeous. Without having to ask your parents. What can you do with this camera that you can't do with your phone? For a whole month. Went shopping, got swimmers, got myself a new shirt. Five, six, seven. I think it was over $200. Hi. So you think this is going to last us two days or one day? Ooh. This is the beginning of a dictatorship. Dimity's a 13-year-old who lives with a big family, who loves sailing, playing the cello and spending money. I have quite expensive taste in clothes. Like the clothes I do want to buy, they're about $70 per item. And as nice as they are, sometimes I just don't have enough money to actually buy them. No. <laughs> every minute of every day is basically filled with her demanding something that she wants. She will hound you. My name's Eddie Wu. I love numbers and showing people all the amazing things we can do with them. And I'm about to make Dimity a real life teenage boss. She was telling me a couple weeks ago she wanted the iPhone No, X. I never said that. I said the 8 Plus. You told Dad you want the iPhone X. No, I didn't. I said the 8 Plus. Dimity has a, uh, a very, very, very limited understanding and concept of what it means to keep a family going day to day, week to week, month to month. And why do you get the new one? Because I deserve it. Why are you so self-entitled? I'm not. <laughs> That's not good. Maybe you have to work for it. She just loves to spend with reckless abandon. I'm on my way to meet Dimity. She's a really outgoing teenager with heaps of friends and some pretty expensive tastes. She has pocket money, but it never seems to be enough. Her parents think it's because she always spends money on silly things. I wonder what would happen if she was in charge of her family's finances for the whole month. Hi. Hey, are you Dimity's mom? I certainly am. I'm Eddie. It's nice Poppy. to meet you. Nice how you to going, meet you. Poppy? Good. This must be Dimity. Certainly is. Hi, Dimity. How are you going? Oh, I'm Eddie. Hi. Nice to meet you. Come in. Thank you. It's really hard to learn how to be responsible for money when you don't have any money to be responsible for. The experiment is that in here is the entire family's money for a whole month. Oh, well. It's all in here, okay? You're gonna have to be the boss for an entire month and make all the decisions. Are you sure you're ready for this challenge? Oh, I was born ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. $5,397. This is your family's money <laughs> for a whole month. Have you, have you ever seen this? <laughs> yes, it's real. It's real. Do you want to hold up? Maybe try something on this side. Do you want to hold one of these up? Just so you know it's real. Now, let's uh, okay. put that back where it belongs. So, <laughs> what's going through your mind right now, Dewey, as you see all of this cash? All the clothes and makeup I could buy with this. <laughs> all of this money, you're going to have to learn how to handle it what it's going to have to go to, all the kinds of things that your family spends money on that maybe you have no idea about, OK? Good luck. Oh, well. <laughs> They're worried. <laughs> A little. This is going to be an interesting month. We're all going to die. <laughs> Starvation. <laughs> Okay. Don't annoy me or I'll cut off your budget. Ooh, excited. <laughs> I'm super excited and I have some ideas on how I'm, how I'm thinking of spending this. Okay, you ready? Yeah. That's insane. All the stuff I can buy with this. <laughs> what do you think you're going to spend it on? I would really personally like to buy this super expensive eyeshadow palette. I really want like an, some new black jeans. I've really had my eye on getting a new phone because like... He's that all sounds amazing, but it's going to cost money. And the only way Dimity will get that money 
is if she can save it from the family budget that she's about to be in charge of. Over to you, boss. Um, to be in control of $5,000, I feel, feel very powerful, for one. And I'm feeling quite nervous and anxious, but I'm also super excited because, like, I could change a few things around here. The next day, it's time to help Dimity start planning her own budget. Hey, Dimity, Hi. how are you going? I'm good, thanks. We need to get a sense of what the family's spending money on now yes. so that we can make a plan for what Dimity's going to spend money on this month. Key word, plan. <laughs> plan. Okay. So some of these items have been here for a little while, but some you're going to have to be in charge of purchasing. So does everyone in the family have a different kind of yogurt? Well, basically, my sister likes to indulge in the ones that where you mix in, like, nuts and yeah, coconut. this is the really expensive the one, expensive isn't it? Yeah, one. OK. It's just, just a really need to have the most expensive kind. And also for you guys, do you all really need to get different ones? Um, are you doing a bit of entertaining? You've got a whole bunch of... That's not just for you, is it? That's a lot of dip. This is my brother's doing here. He really likes his hummus. It's basically a main food group for him. <laughs> so the first thing we're having a look at here is what we call fixed costs, right? Fixed means we can't change them. Have to be paid. They have to be paid, yeah. and you can a see, thousand. yeah, Whoa. a thousand dollars just, just like that. I think, wow. By going through what her family spends every month, Timothy's learning just how expensive food, electricity, and having fun can be. That's five hundred and forty dollars every month. Did you know it was that much? <laughs> no. Yes. And if Timothy's going to save money for what she wants, remember that list from earlier. She'll need to make some tough decisions. My family's gonna hate me. <laughs> I've saved $83 in electricity, $50 in gas, $80 in water, $50 in canteen costs, $500 in entertainment, and $600 in eating out. All of that adds up to $340 per week in savings. I'm trying to put some savings aside for myself and um, also like some money to buy some clothes, maybe. Mom, Dad! Okay, so the first thing I'm reducing is our electricity costs. Our current is $333. Our new is $290, so we're saving $43. Gas costs, I'm also reducing. The current is $300 and the new is $260, right. saving $40. Okay. Getting to pocket money now. Uh -oh. So, um, and these figures are all weekly figures. Weekly, aren't they? yes. Yep. So your current is cat, $20. Your new is $15, saving $5. Your D, <laughs> current is $20. Your new is $12. Because <laughs> you're a dude, you don't need anything. Oh <laughs> and just to make it fair, mum, it's oh, uh, current is 20, your new is 15, same as cat. And dad, current is 20, now you're getting 12. Oh. And okay. Now it's only fair, Dimity, that if you talk about the family's pocket money, you should talk about your own. So okay. do you want to explain um, what's so, happening? So um, current is $20 and the new is $50. <laughs> That is Why? so unfair. Like, like you need a so pay for more stuff than <laughs> mum and dad. We're so yeah. ripped off. This is the beginning of a dictatorship. She's gotten all this power and she I feel like she doesn't know how, quite how to control it. So I'm going to read out some new rules that I have decided. OK. Because as we've already just realised, a lot of these changes are going to mean lifestyle is going to change. These are all non-negotiable. OK. So showers, no longer than 10 minutes. Do I'm talking to, to you. What about to... you? I take like 10 minutes. Oh so <laughs> no internet data usage on weekdays. Wi-Fi switched off at 10 o'clock. Keep lights no, off. No, wait, wait, wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> Keep lights off for as long as possible. No video games on weekdays and only an hour on weekends. What? Only How one. does that save money? There is a lot of electricity that's used which we don't even think about. Exactly. Right. I think Dimity's never thought about it before. Okay. I have to follow Sorry. these rules as well. Okay. I'm listening. a part of the family. I'm going to abide by them. And if you take longer than 10 minutes in a shower, I will hunt you down. Okay. As with all budgets, there's going to have to be some give and take here, some adjustment as we go through. That's part of why there are savings, because we never know what kind of 
unforeseen circumstances might come up. A flat tire on a car, a sudden expense that we need to worry about. So these are all things that Dimity as the boss is going to have to worry about yep. now. So are there any final thoughts or questions that anyone has? Queries? W why do you get $50? Because I have to do all this. I have to do all the work. Cause... So the excess money is all about you. Not, not exactly. Not, not the whole family? No, if there's excess money, I can... So, like, if I break my leg, as long as you've got your handbag, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start taking showers at school. <laughs> I still think $50 for you is ridiculous. OK, yeah. no, it's not. <laughs> I'm living on essentially $2 a day. I have internet restrictions. Our boss has total unbridled power. And we can't negotiate what those rules are, and they're very strict. Books, music, but if Dimity can stick to her plans games, for the month, she'll save a massive $1,360. That means the expensive makeup and clothes she can't wait to buy are closer to becoming a reality. All right, guys. By far the biggest expense is groceries. This mango looks good. Dimity's not just in charge of the cash, she's in charge of the menu as well. I hope she has good taste. I I don't really know because it depends like what's going to be for dinner tonight. So, what oh, what's for dinner? Yeah, you've got uh, choice. I feel like some pasta maybe. Pasta? Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking about the budget while I'm doing this. Yeah, because I just want to kind of don't want to go too overboard with stuff that I want, yeah. but like I still want to, you know get some stuff that I want. What else do you think you need? Maybe a pizza one pizza. night? Pizza. Oh, or... that'd be cool. Yeah. Let's get the house. Yep. Gotta love cookies. Uh, oh, I'm gonna cookie make dough, some cookies. Cookie I'm making cookies. I'm making cookies. Okay. Like Wait. Priorities. <laughs> if I'm making cookies, I should probably put the chips back. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. Okay. You also may need pasta. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to have pasta for dinner. Yeah. Okay. Does your mum, like, want coffee in the morning or...? Uh, no, that's fine. She they can live without it, yeah. <laughs> she get capsicum. Yeah, I'll get a capsicum. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll get that one. <laughs> okay. I don't know. My mum usually comes home with heaps more stuff. Do you reckon you have enough? Uh, I feel I do, yeah. So it was a bit over what we thought, but... Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Keep, just keep <laughs> Oh, okay. That's $107.60, thank you. Okay. So we spent a bit more than we thought, but that's yeah, okay. Yeah, a little more than expected. That's only $18 more than what she'd planned. It should be fine, if she's bought enough. Oh, I bought a, quite a bit of stuff. Okay. Oh, okay, that was quite stressful. How much did you spend? Uh, it was 107 and... 63 cents. Or food? Yes. Got some mints, because we're making pasta tonight. So you Isn't think cream? 600 grams is enough for five people? Maybe we'll combine the two? Maybe we'll use the mints tomorrow. Got some shallots. OK. Got this uh, lettuce thing. A little bit of chocolate for myself. Shopping's OK, but didn't really need all this sugar. But um, not bad. So you think this is going to last us two days or one day? What? One day? I, I was thinking like a week. A week? Yeah. Okay. Well, we might have to rethink that. No, because we've got the pasta one day, the tacos, and then okay. we can improvise. Improvise, OK. We can have some more leftover pasta the next day and some okay. more leftover tacos the next day. There's five of us. Doesn't matter. OK. We can put small amounts of meat. Ooh, oh dear. OK, that's interesting. So am I allowed to go grocery shopping? No. OK, this is it for the week? Yes. How are you feeling, Kat? Hello? Kat? How are you feeling? Tell me how you're feeling. Yeah. Oh. She's a bit angry with you. 
What did I do? <laughs> you didn't buy that food. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> We're making some pasta with um, some of the stuff we bought, including some Napolitana sauce and some shallots that we bought that mum's just chopping up over there. Why do you think it's not enough food? Uh, because I cook, I normally cook a lot more than this on a daily basis. Well, we're adjusting. Dimini's learning that cutting down on how much food a family needs to buy isn't easy. Uh -huh. But there could be some other areas where she'll have more luck. So, I'm just trying to reduce some electricity costs. I think everyone's kind of forgotten about the rule about switching off all the power sockets and stuff. Taking too long. Yo. Can I come in? Yeah, sure. You know what I said? Only an hour of video games. Oh, uh, when on the on the weekends? Yes. Okay. So can you switch it off, please? All right. Switching it off. It's not that he's not happy about it. It's just. He's just not listening to me because, I don't know, I'm his little sister. OK, tell us, Dimity, what am I allowed to buy today? You'll allowed to have eight nectarines, some the cheapest brown sugar you can find, sour cream, and no fancy flip yogurt. Why? But yogurt, I spelled for you. For cat. It's too expensive. Okay. Mom, Dad, Yoti, Cat. Do you want Gigi here too? So I've called you guys all here to have a slight discussion about the rules I've put in place. And Cat, watch your showers. Please keep them under 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yoti, watch your video games. Mom, don't leave the cooking appliances on and don't leave the TV paused and leave it on. Dad, you're doing great. <laughs> Love you too. I'm just concentrating on the road right now, sweetheart. But we are approaching the toll gates. Can you speak a little louder? We are approaching the toll gates. <laughs> and here we go. Get ready. Beep, beep. How much do they cost? I think it's around up to $4. $4? Max, All right. As a maximum, yeah. She's definitely coming to understand that simple things cost money. Two weeks into being the boss, and Dimity's struggling to save the money she wants from groceries, electricity, and water. You know, the essentials. Oh. She's also trying to negotiate some of the other day-to-day -day bills. Make sure you don't fill up the car too much. <laughs> I'll only fill it halfway, yeah? Yes. <laughs> and don't drive too much. I'll drive, what, halfway to work, or...? Yeah, and walk there. And walk... <laughs> And don't go past the the city. What? And don't go through the toll. You mean, you mean the toll gates, yeah? Toll, yeah, toll things. And we need to pay this, our phone bill. We hardly even use the home phone. I know. <sighs> I got another bill. What? One of the unforeseen ones. Oh, no. No. You know your uh, your textbooks? Was that in the budget? Jeez. 437.19 that's, that's the number that you should be worried about. That's basically all of our savings. And that doesn't leave a lot of room for flexibility if other things go wrong. Oh, and I'm cutting Yotti's public transport budget. Why? Because he doesn't need it. <laughs> what, he can walk? Yes. <laughs> I need to start, like, I don't know, maybe enforcing the rules a little tougher and being a little stricter with them. Gotta limit your clothing spending. 
I didn't buy anything for myself. It was for Kat. I know, but still. Okay. You spent all of the family's budget for clothes, most of it, yes. for clothes on Kat. It's a hundred and something dollars left for you. But still. Okay. Sorry. Kat. You've got 10 minutes. I'm not washing my hair. Leave me alone. Okay, just remember to come out soon. Hey Dimity, how's everything faring so far? We got actually two bills come in. Oh yeah? One yeah. What bills were they? One is for our home phone. It was only $10 over, which is not bad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So um, you could take into account that you've got a, a little bit of extra that you can maybe bring over? Yeah. Has your brother's supply of hummus changed? Is it dwindling now? Is he in trouble with that? <laughs> there is no hummus in the fridge. <laughs> it's all gone. Okay, yeah. I'm um, tell him I'm a bit sad for him, but I'm sure he's surviving. Despite the surprise bills, Dimity's managed to stay pretty close to her planned budget. But with the family spending four hundred and forty-five dollars on phones and pay TV every month, she's come up with a cunning idea to save even more. Hi, um, I was just wondering if I could just have a quick chat, quick chat with you about some. Bundle deals. Mm -hmm. We have Foxtel Internet Home Phone all paid separately. I could save $200. I think I'll go with the $245 plan. So Dimity has saved $200 a month just with a few phone calls. Easy. I feel like my family should have done this earlier because we could have saved like a lot more money. When did you get sushi? You and Dad went out pretty pricey and $15 was contributed by the chocolates. <laughs> she was getting quite upset with um, the things I was buying. She was looking at every individual thing and mm. thinking, no, no, you shouldn't buy this again. No, no, too expensive. Yep. And looking at alternatives, cheaper flour, cheaper juice. <laughs> it was frustrating. <laughs> Ruling with an iron fist has saved Dimity nearly $300. It's kind of tempting having all that money just sitting there. So um, me and Kat have just come back from the city and I actually bought quite a few things, spent a bit of money. Like, I think it was over $200, just that. Plus food we also got. And didn't blow the budget, I guess. <laughs> Well, we got some like face products and we got a bunch of clothes for ourselves. Um, you got that top got of pants this. you're wearing right now. Jiminy got these kind of clothes here. Mm hmm. We got face masks, more stuff, tops. Yeah. How much did this cost? That was sixty dollars <laughs> just for one. <laughs> How many clothes do we have? One, two, three, three four, four, five, six, seven. seven. <laughs> um, <laughs> how do you feel about that, Kat? Um, I think I need a decrease on my impulse buying, but that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. I think we both do, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I also got this top I'm wearing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hypocrite. <laughs> that's a $260 spending spree just before Dimity hands control back to her folks. Hey, hey Dimity, it's the big day. Yeah, why don't you come on in? Thanks. Let's see what that does to her monthly budget. Mom, Dad, Kat, Yoti. Uh, I'm glad to see everyone hasn't wasted away. Honey, you don't look like you're sort of in withdrawal symptoms from almost or anything <laughs> like that. Not too I'm jittery. Good. I'm good. I'm okay, good. that's excellent. Was it hard to stick to that amount? My $12 a week went a long way. <laughs> yeah. I'm You're sorry, I'm well sorry, done. I was a little mean. A little, a wee, a wee bit mean. Just a wee bit. <laughs> um, clothing and cosmetics. I'm scared. It started out as... 400. And you decided to... Increase it by 100, give it 500. 
Yeah, of course. Oh, no, I'm scared. I'm scared. $727. <laughs> <laughs> Makeup and clothes. This is not Yachty and Dad's doing, you. I know it. Yeah. Well. It's you as it's well. You. you spent $70 on the top. No, no. It was 60 Imagine, no, oh, she sorry, showed me. She showed me. I'm sorry. You I'm spent, sorry, you apologies. You bought double the amount that I did. No, I didn't. We bought the same amount that day. That was one day. I mean, the whole month. <laughs> you spent more, you had more shopping trips, though, in the whole... No, I didn't. <gasps> mm. The concrete. Oh. Dictatorial rules. <laughs> There were a lot of um, a lot of guidelines, weren't mm. there? The rules I implemented at first were sort of harsh, but then um, I sort of, you know, went along with what the, like the people in the family actually wanted and needed. Oh, Jimmy, wow. are you ready to for um, us to reveal to the family how much yeah. was left? You ready? I don't believe it. Do you all want to know how much we have left? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. So here we go. What we have left is a grand total of. $19! <laughs> it's, um... It's a beauty, isn't it? It's, do you want to touch it? It's yeah. real! Oh, it's, oh, wow. <laughs> it's more than what I got each week. <laughs> <laughs> Jiminy's still the boss. Oh, um, okay. For a, a little bit longer, so... Firstly, I want to say congratulations to all of you. Thank you. For, for Thank making you. it to the end, <laughs> especially Dimity. To you for, for making all the decisions and actually coming out at the end, under budget, you have still something left over. Um, yeah! Which, you know, I think we should be very proud of. Well done. So, uh, as, as you are still for a little bit longer the boss, I wondered, what are you going to do with this huge amount that you've saved? Share it with your family? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We can get... Food that costs nineteen dollars. <laughs> you know what? I think you could get quite a bit of hummus for nineteen dollars. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so uh, everything's done. I'm like finished being the boss and kind of relieved that I don't have to be on top of everyone anymore. I, I'm actually quite proud of her. I think she did really well. I'm happy. One stage she said to me, oh, it's hard being an adult. Mm. It's hard making all these adult decisions. The biggest lesson was that she's uh, being able to make, to be more understanding of the family and what happens in the family. I was surprised that there was anything left in the briefcase. I thought there were going to be IOUs, like you said. I, did, I was so surprised she had anything left, but she did a good job. She did good. I am, without a doubt, absolutely glad that everything is returning back to normal. It was fun while it lasted, I mean. And um, I will miss my weekly $50 from my pocket money.